What's going on everybody? It's finally National Week. Now, I usually on Mondays do my video where I review the question that I asked everybody and their responses and just kind of talk about those topics. And we will be doing that next week. I'm pushing it back a week because um, one of my favorite videos of the month with this busy, crazy week going on this week, I wanted to make sure that we did not miss this before the end of the month. So what we're gonna be doing here today is taking a look at all of the midlife community pickups from the month of June. Now, guys, there are some absolutely amazing cards. The value of the cards that are picked up this month are everywhere from $1 to tens of thousands of dollars. Some absolute dream cards. Some cards that many of us know are way out of our reach were picked up by people within the midlife community. I'm really excited to show you all of the cards. Now, we, we every month, my goal, my hope, more my hope than my goal, is that we have more submissions than we've ever had before. And we did that again this month. Each month, this has grown more and more. If you're seeing this and you didn't have an opportunity to submit your pickup from the month, uh, we'll do this again for the month of July. So be thinking about, and I'm expecting in National Month there to be some big ones. So next month should be huge. And uh, we will be opening submissions for that in a couple of weeks, week or two. All right, so let's get right to it. Let's check out the pickups from your fellow midlife community members during the month of June. As always, we've got some massive cards and pickups. First one, I got my dad with a 1956 Tops Roberto Clemente in an SGC4, and it is gorgeous. David with the 53 tops, Monty Irvin, in a PSA 8. That's a huge card. Absolutely gorgeous copy of it. And Monty Irvin's cards have been on the rise. How about Brutus with the 75 tops, Jim Rice, Hall of Famer, in a PSA 9. Tough to get 9s in that 75 set. He spent $741 on that beautiful card. Another Hall of Fame rookie card. We got a 65 tops Joe Morgan for 40 bucks. Is that possible? Is that right? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. From Steve P. My goodness, Joe Morgan stuff is way too cheap. How about Brad? Brad picked up a stunning copy of the 53 Bowman Color Whitey Ford in a PSA. Eight. That's a big card. That's a big set. And Whitey doesn't have a 53 tops, a 52 tops card. Uh, so that would be his second card along with the 53 tops. Coulter with the 71 Opeachy World Series Game 5 with Brooks Robinson making a play for 45 bucks. Keith got the 1913 Fatima. T200. These are beautiful cards. A little bit oversized. This is the Cleveland Americans with Joe Jackson in the picture. One of the most affordable ways to get a card with Joe Jackson on it. How about the goat? Jason picked up a 92 Tops Kids Roger Clemens. There he is in all his glory. For a dollar. Again, you don't have to spend a ton of money to pick up a fun card. Andrew with the 1961 American Home Run Leaders. You got Maris on there. You got Mantle on there. Got that card for $40 from the 1962 Tops set. Beautiful card there. How about the 57 Tops Yogi Berra? No name on that submission, but it's a beautiful card for 20 bucks, And very cool. I almost put... John Doe as the uh, submitter. Tucker with the 1954 Tops. Hank Aaron paid $1,200 plus some trade 
On a PSA 5.5, look at the centering and the eye appeal on that card. Tucker picked up a absolutely gorgeous copy of the Hank Aaron rookie. Jason with a 1970 tops. Joe Namath. And the price? It was free. It was a birthday gift. Joe Namath cards are always extremely popular. And this is about his fifth card or so. Jason C. with a Roger Maris rookie card. Paid $300 for the SGC5. A well-centered copy. A great-looking card there. A card I'd love to have at some point and add to my collection. How about Matthew S. with the 54 Bowman, Mickey Mantle, and a PSA 1.5. That sure looks better than a 1.5 to me. For $650. That's got great eye appeal. Roy A. with... A 1969 Topps Reggie Jackson rookie card. A lot of Hall of Fame rookie cards so far. Paid $450 for an SGC6. That seems also to be a good deal as well. Steve M. with the 56 Topps Mickey Mantle in an SGC 2.5 for $1,000. One of the best looking Mantle cards, in my opinion. That is kind of an iconic card. Larry G. with one of the steals of the month. He got the 1909 Chrissy Mathewson T206 with the white cap. That's harder than the brown cap. And $660 for the 1.5. Dave M. He got a great deal on a beautiful Roberto Clemente from the 1973 top set and an SGC3 for $23.50. Really well-centered, good-looking card there. Darren N. with the 48 Leaf Joe DiMaggio in the PSA 2 for $1,478. That's a card on my want list. And Darren grabbed a really nice one, well-centered too for that set. Trent with the 53 tops, Yogi Berra. And I love this card. And an SGC 5.5 for $375. That is a beautiful example of it. And a 5.5 is a great grade in that set. Jerry with the 34 Gaudi Dizzy Dean. And an SGC 3, really well centered for $600. That is also a great deal in my eyes. The eye appeal on that one is fantastic. Kevin grabbed two cards. He got the 69 Hank Aaron and a 71 Ernie Banks for a grand total of $12. That seems like a fantastic deal. My guess is he was value box digging or something. Tyler S. with the Brooks Robinson rookie card. This is a gorgeous copy of Brooks Robinson's rookie card in a PSA 4. That thing is gorgeous. I love that picture. Kryptonite with the 68 tops Nolan Ryan in an SGC3. And that is a really well-centered example of it for $625. Beautiful card there. David got a ticket stub. I love ticket stubs. This is game one of the 1940 World Series. And he grabbed that for $100. I think ticket stubs are a fantastic souvenir. How about this massive card from Dave? He got a 1915 Cracker Jack Walter Johnson in a PSA 7. It was $40,000, but my goodness, that is a stunning card. Tim with the 85 Opeachy Mario Lemieux box bottom. And this is in an SGC3 for $260. I love the color match on that. Travis B. got a Jim Thorpe card from 67-68. Now, that's not a set you see very often, and it's a great grade in a 6.5 from SGC. Paid $100 for that card. How about Chris from Staven? He got a 2001 Topps Chrome Ichiro. That is a BGS 8 for the card and 9 for the auto. 
all in right around $370. Now, John Eric, I met him at the Fairfield show. He was in town, and he bought these cards from Midlife Dad. He bought those from my dad, and it paid $110. Look at that card in the middle. That's a stunner there, uh, that T206 Greg Miller. How about Cousin Will? Cousin Will got a Kurt Flood rookie. Uh, signed one on the left in a ballpoint pen, and then also Kurt Flood's high school yearbook, which I think is maybe down below opened up there. Kirk, he got the 59 tops, Roy Campanella, symbol of courage card after his accident. Paid $20 for it, a good centered copy there. That is a super cool card. Matthew got the 1941 play ball, Hank Greenberg. In a PSA 4, now the 41 set is very popular because it's got color. Paid $462 for that PSA 4 example. Thomas with a 61 tops Hank Aaron in a PSA 4. But again, look at the centering. Look at the eye appeal on that. Paid $462. And when you have high eye appeal... uh, You'll be happy with the card for a long time. David got a 1950 Bowman Jackie Robinson in a six. That's a big card. Paid $6,300. Look at the eye appeal and centering on that thing. That is absolutely gorgeous. Robert with the T206 tie cob with a sweet cat back. The red portrait cob. And a PSA 1.5. Paid right around $4,000 for that. How can you go wrong with a Ty Cobb card? How about Logan F. with the 1913 Nap Lajoie game card? $67 in the SGC6. Got a card well over 100 years old. And you've got one of the best hitters of all time. Michael with the Bobby Lane. The Blonde Bomber. 48 Leaf in a... SGC 4.5 for $400. I love the color, how much it pops there in the image. Craig got a 48 Bowman Musual, a 49 Bowman Dobie, and a 68 Nolan Ryan. That is a massive month. Three huge rookie cards there for Craig. That uh, must have been some very fun mail days. JC went with the Garbage Pail Kids. You guys know I love those. He got the 2015 Garbage Pail Kids 30th anniversary of the Michael Jordan set for $500. You can see his tongue dunking the ball there. Very cool. Jim M., he got a 1926 W512 strip card of Babe Ruth. Received an SGC Authentic. Paid $1,000 for that. Babe Ruth cards are going to be big ones for anybody. Chad with the 62 tops, Paul Horning, for $29. This is the sister set to the 71 tops baseball with the black borders. Very similar design. Awesome card there. Jim C. with the 49 Ralph Branca exhibits card. Paid $7.50 for the exhibits. That's a great picture there on that oversized card. How about Andrew P. with the 1960 tops? Willie McCovey in an SGC4 for $88. How are we buying Hall of Fame rookie cards in SGC4s for $88? That's wild. You got Richard P. He got a Ben Hogan card autographed. Got it dual autoed, or dual graded, sorry, for from PSA. Card got a 7, auto got a 10. Brian picked up the 53 Redman Phil Rizzuto for $25. If you're looking for some cool-looking non-mainstream cards, the Redmans are absolutely gorgeous. They're a little oversized, and that's a beautiful card. Theo, my buddy, Clemente Collector, he picked up a sweet 67 Bazooka Roberto Clemente in a 6.5. He did a video on this card. Check that out. Paid $210 for that one. Jason M. with a 53 Bowman color. Mini Minoso. Really well centered. 
PSA 7 for 299 bucks. That's such a cool image there. Robert C., he said he got a crazy deal on this 67 Tops Willie Mays for $5. He's like, yeah, it's not in the best shape, but it's still a Willie Mays card for 5 bucks." And then he kept digging, and he found a 75 Tops 74 Highlights Hank Aaron for $4. A couple of gems there to add to the collection. Collecting vintage doesn't have to be expensive. Paris with the Goodwin Champions. That card, any card from this Goodwin Champions set is just gorgeous to me. My buddy Orlando obviously has the top PSA set registry of that set. Richard B. He got 10 1952 Tops Chicago Cubs Commons for 75 bucks. $7.50 a piece. And look at the centering on those. Those are beautiful cards. Jeremy got the 58 Tops Willie Mays and an SGC 5 for 300 bucks. That seems very that seems really good. That I that seems like a stunning deal. Steve from Vegas, my guy Steve. He got the 51 Bowman Norm Van Brocklin rookie card. Really well centered, really great color for $157. Telling you guys, vintage football is super affordable. We got Jeff with a G. He got the 54 Tops Ernie Banks. Love the card. And an SGC 2.5 for $640. And I'm definitely jealous of that pickup. William. With the 0607 Copa America Panini Lino Messi for 180 bucks, They just won the Copa America this year. Just happened a couple of days, a few days ago, a week ago. Brian M., he got the 66 Tops Willie Mays in an SGC6. Great looking example there with great centering and eye appeal. Dietrich R. with the 1955 Bowman Willie Mays for $90. Any Willie Mays card from the mid-1950s seems like it shouldn't be selling for under $100, but Dietrich got that one for $90. TJ got the 33 Gowdy Lou Gehrig. That can't be right. That price can't be right. Something's off. I must have made a goof there. <laughs> that Because that can't be right. Uh, here we go. Jeremy with the 86 Fleer Akeem Olajuwon autographed. $277. That is awesome. This is before his name was changed. Uh, very cool. Mike Petty, my guy, Mr. Petty with the 1940 play ball, Joe Jackson. In the VG3 from PSA, centering's great. Any Joe Jackson card is an awesome Joe Jackson card. And he also got the 1928, he calls them Ying Yangs, <laughs> the Yingling Rogers Hornsby in a PSA 7. My goodness, that is a big card with a fantastic grade. Alex with the 1913 Joe Wood card for $89.10. Great pickup there. A lot of these game cards from the early 1900s have gained a lot of popularity. How about a dream card for many of us? The 1915 Cracker Jack Joe Jackson. Tony picked up a monster card. What a gorgeous card. Joel. With a 1958 Tops Roger Maris for $275. That is a sweet one. Again, Roger Maris was in the news during um, Judge's home run record race. And he just seems undervalued. How about Steve G with the 89 Upper Deck Ken Griffey Jr. in a PSA 8? All in under 75 bucks for one of the most iconic cards ever. 
Ryan P. got the 1924 Willard Chocolate Babe Ruth in a PSA 4. That thing is so beautiful. Great centering, great image. Don H. got a 64 top Duke Snyder in an SGC 8. And this is, a, this is when he was in a Mets uniform. That is a great looking card. Well centered, obviously, with the 8 grade. How about Brian C.? He got a 55 tops Monty Irvin. I love that 55 and 56 set. And look at how little he paid. Low grade cards of vintage Hall of Famers are very, very affordable right now. Now these cards are fantastic. They are, this is a Dazzy Vance that Mark S. picked up. These chocolate cards from Cuba, they're tiny. They're like the smallest cards ever, like literally. They're like a postage stamp, smaller than a postage stamp. Alfredo V. with the T206 Cy Young in SGC 1.5. Great centering on that one. Jimmy M. with the 57 tops, Willie Mays, SGC 5. It's a great image of Willie there with the stadium in the background. That's a great purchase. How about JC with the 56 tops, Willie Mays? And this is a beautiful card. I, I just, I mean... I don't know. Any Willie Mays card seems like a great Willie Mays card, if you ask me. Robert L. He's got the 1950 Bowman. Paul Younger. One of the coolest looking cards from the 1950 Bowman set. It's got to be the coolest card looking card. That is just such a cool angle. Chris with the 58 tops Jim Brown. Now, this card is so hard to find centered. This one in an SGC5. Paying $1,160 is a steal for this card that well centered. Brian L. with the 1967 tops. Giant Mickey Mantle. In an SGC 6.5. That's a beautiful example of that one. Those cards are so affordable and I don't really understand why. Brad C. with the 52 Bowman Mini Minoso rookie card. He's got the 52 tops and the 52 Bowman. And the centering on this one is absolutely spectacular for the PSA 5 card. Michael C. with the 67 tops in the 1966 NL League RBI leaders. Look at those three guys. Hank Aaron, Roberto Clemente, and Dick Allen. Three of the all-time greats. Rob A. with a 55 tops double headers. With Ted Klazuski. These things are super cool. Paid $36.07 for the SGC2 card. Again, well centered, beautiful card there. Greg with the 53 tops, Willie Mays in an SGC2. And it's really well centered. That is a beautiful card. One of my favorite Willie Mays cards is the 53 tops. Juho with a 56 tops Mickey Mantle in an SGC3. Again, well centered. Any card from the 50s that's well centered is starting to fetch a bit of a premium. And buying those up is not necessarily a bad idea. How about Golden Slumber, my guy, up north of the border with the 58 tops Bart Star? PSA 8. With the PD qualifier, $165. The centering on that was amazing. JE with the 61 Golden Press, Joe DiMaggio in an SGC4. These Golden Press cards are very, very affordable, and they've got some beautiful images on them. If you're looking to pick up some of the all-time greats, it's not a bad way to go for a very affordable price. Tracy grabbed the 65 Tops George Brett rookie card. One of the most iconic cards from the 1970s, if not the most. The color scheme on that particular one is fantastic. Jeff, with the 1915 Joe Jeanette boxing card. And if I'm not mistaken, he fought 
Jack Johnson paid ten dollars for that thing. Edison, look at this, twenty twenty four Leaf, dual cut auto, Muhammad Ali, and Hank Aaron. Two of the biggest legends ever. Five hundred and forty seven dollars for that card. John, my guy, John three D eighties kid. He picked up his Grail right before the National. It's 1920W519 unnumbered Babe Ruth for just over $4,000. Color on that thing is fabulous. Will, he got a 1966 East Hills Roberto Clemente. That's a card you don't see very often. Some of these regional release cards are pretty hard to find. The hobbyist... He picked up some 1990-91 Skybox prototypes of Magic Johnson for $12.50 a piece. You can see the prototype uh, line there along the left. John, John picked up this beautiful card for $125. Heine Wagner, really well centered. Great, great card in an older SGC4 label. John Jay with a Sammy Baugh. I love this set, these collegiate All-American cards. This one was $135. I've been searching for one of those myself. Drew with the 1909 Dockman and Sons gum of Hal Chase. SGC5. Hal Chase was an intriguing character back in the early 1900s. Bounced around a little bit. Puba, he got the Steve Largent rookie card from the 1977 top set in a PSA 5 for 27 bucks. I mean, he's one of the best receivers ever. Rookie card for 27 bucks. It looks fantastic. Gary, with the 1964 stand-up Gary Peters, said this was a birthday gift. This is the second birthday gift this month. That's awesome when... We're receiving cards and adding to our hobby for our birthdays. Happy birthday to you two guys. Matt G. with a stunning T205 Polar Bear of Christy Mathewson. This is one of the best-looking cards ever in my eyes. It's an SGC4 here for $4,000. Look at the eye appeal on that one. OCMC Joe with the 1905 JT Die postcard of the New York Giants. And it was 300 bucks in the SGC holder there. How about Ryan M? With a 1901 Wills Cricketers. I mean, this guy's beard is fantastic, right? Cricket cards are pretty cool, and they are very popular. Um, there's a small group of people that collect them, but they're really into them. Jeff got the 1938 Castle Brothers. Donald and Caddy card for 50 bucks in the PSA holder. I love me some Donald Duck playing golf. <laughs> Ronald, I'm sorry, Rodney with the 1968 tops Johnny Bench in a PSA 4. That's a really great eye appeal. Great color, great centering. $160. Why is Johnny Bench's rookie card so affordable? Doug, he got the 19. 56 yellow base path pin of Stan Musial in a PSA 3 for 60 bucks. These pins, I love the holders on the pins that PSA did, does for those. Glenn with the 1961 new card scoops, Stan Musial. And you might notice the little guy there, that actually happened. He's in the Guinness Book of World Record for the smallest Major League Baseball player ever. Brian, with the 1966 tops, Willie Mays, paid $60 for this PSA 3. Again, the eye appeal seems great to me. The centering is fantastic. Paul, he picked up the 1971 Opeachy Burt Blylevin. Burt Blylevin does not get much love, and that 71 set is so brutal. That seems like a great deal for right around 50 bucks. 
James here got the 1938 Chicago Sunday Tribune uh, cutout card. That is seems like a great deal for twenty dollars. I don't know a lot about that one. Michael got the 69 tops decal edge Roberto Clemente for twenty seven bucks in an SGC four point five. Again, it's fifteen to grade cards. So does that mean the card was twelve dollars? That's crazy. Mike T with the 57 Tops Mickey Mantle. And that thing is really well centered in a PSA 3. He said he paid a little above comps, but it was worth it for that centering. Keith, another Red Man from the 1955 Red Man set. It's got the tab. You can see at the bottom there, there's a tab. And a lot of those were removed. Pee Wee Reese. For 75 bucks in the PSA holder. Jim picked up a Roosevelt Greer Archives autograph. That, those early football cards, and this is a, an archive of it, are so beautiful. And the color in this particular year is some of my favorites. Smoke and Joe with the 1960 tops, Ernie Banks, got an SGC 5. Love that card for $67. Why? Other than his rookie card, Ernie Banks cards seem too affordable. Brett I with the 1968 Mickey Mantle game card. And, you know, under $50 for a card with Mickey Mantle on it from the 1960s is wild. These game cards are pretty cool. Scott, man, a 1948 Bowman. Stan Musial rookie card in an SGC 5. That is beautiful. I am super jealous of this one. $2,375. And to round things out, my buddy Mookie. He got a 1952 Topps pinhole card of Johnny Mize. A beautiful Johnny Mize card. He said it was a gift from the narrator. But I'm the narrator, so... That's interesting. Uh, You're welcome, Mook. Love you, buddy.